item and then go back to your chair, okay? And so um, we're going to show an example. I'm going to bring um, Shauna and I'm going to bring Brandy up here to reach in the bag. And while they're reaching in the bag to choose their item, we're going to practice on them. Brandy, how many people do I have? How many do you want? I want the groups to be three Four yes. Three is perfect. There's seven groups of three. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to count you off by sevens. Can you remember what number you are, why they reach into the bag, and we're not going to pay attention to them? Okay, are we ready? You're one. You're two. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. I was like, where's my other person? Brandy said I had an even number. Okay. All right. So, we, um, what you're going to do is when you get into your groups, I'm going to put you in different parts. You can't hear the other groups because it just kind of gets distracting. And then you're going to send one person from your group up, and they're going to choose an item out of the bag. They're going to come back to the group, and the other two people in the group are going to minister prophetic words of encouragement based on the item they're holding. And here's why we do this, because God speaks in symbolism. And so one of the things is homework that I'm going to give you is that you begin to keep track of things that you can pull from in your vocabulary. So go to your kitchen drawers, pull out something, stand in your kitchen. What does a toaster represent? You'll understand what we're going to talk about in a minute. Okay, so what do we have, Shauna? Um, sorry, we're talking about whether or not her toaster She has a toothbrush. Um, I have a treasure box. That's okay. That's Is empty, there, it's empty? Yeah. Okay, so we have a treasure box here, and we have a? Um, a toothbrush that may or may not be used. It, it hasn't been used, it's just been traveled through a lot of stuff. So what color is your toothbrush? Um, my toothbrush is yellow and white. Okay, it's really important that we pay attention to colors and yeah. things, if there are colors there. It's really important. Okay, so I think we should pray. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to give us revelation and wisdom, and we're going to ask him to impart to us. Um, and so we just thank you, Holy Spirit, that there is a prophetic atmosphere in this place. We thank you, Lord, that you have words of encouragement based on items that we're just pulling out of a bag, but that you're going to bless us, you're going to encourage us, and you're going to speak and minister to us, and you're going to use us to minister to others. So we just make ourselves available to you, and we just say, Holy Spirit, come and speak. We open, ask that you open our spiritual eyes and our ears and our hearts so that we can just be your mouthpiece to release encouragement to others. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, so let's start with the treasure box because it's probably the easier one. Okay, so anybody have any ideas of something? And I will help you. You don't necessarily need to know what it means, but is there a scripture or a thought or a word that comes to mind with the treasure box? If not, I will give you an example, but I don't like to go first because, yes. I had just heard like, that the man bought the field because he knew there was a treasure in the field and that the Lord, you value and treasure him so much, he would be willing to purchase the field just for the treasure. Okay, did everybody hear that? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. First thing that came to my mind is when Mary said, or they said that Mary treasured all of these things down in her heart. That's good. Okay. Somebody from over here.
So we don't get to compare ourselves like, oh my gosh, if we're driving home, did you hear what she said? She was so good, I want to be like her. You, you can, but see, God operated in giving her an impression, but also this overwhelming sense of bubbling up coming out of her. But well, we can't compare ourselves to one another because we're all unique and we're all different. Okay? So, there you go. And then that speaks to her. Okay, yeah, put it on the table. And then um, Brandy's is a toothbrush. It's yellow. Okay? Now, I know some of you are like, she needs to clean her mouth out. I actually had somebody do that in one of the classes. And so I'm like, okay, that's not really super encouraging. So if that's what you're getting, then we can talk about how we can spin it. To be encouraging, because there are ways to do that. Um, <laughs> okay, so yes. <laughs> so, uh, toothbrush is for the mouth, and what I what I felt like uh, was on my heart was that the words of her mouth are going to be used like a brush to, to clean and purify the people. And yellow, if I remember from John Paul Jackson's little prophetic thing, it's hope. And so that you'll actually be using the words in your mouth to purify and instill hope in people. So. Wow, that's really good here. It is really good. Yes. Um, when I looked at that toothbrush, the first thing that came to me was the yellow was gold, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, the white was purity, mm -hmm. and the actual toothbrush was uh, not that you need to clean your life up. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it also Come talked on. to me about having a clean and a pure heart. People will be fascinated by things spoken. So I see yellow as like fascination, like uh, light, stars, sun. Yeah. Okay, you guys can put those items back in the bag. Okay, so do we have an idea now and an understanding of what you're going to do? Before I let you go into your groups and I put you where you're at, any questions for clarification? Because once we, I release you, it gets really chaotic. Any questions? No? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. There's three of you in a group. I'm going to give you ten minutes, which means you don't get to sit there and stare at it for three. She is prophetic. Okay? I was just asking where she got the pants. Get, oh so we don't so have time basically, for that. Yeah, that's a good conversation. Yeah, that's a good conversation. Minutes, which means you gotta get your item, get to your group, and let the other two speak to you. Then